Hello, YouTube! This is the MFNS RA Avis Cup Series Season 4, Race 11 of 15, the Coca Cola 600 live from the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, North Carolina. On the poll today, we have John Stewart who has had a very successful career here in the Avis Cup Series but has not been able to pull off a W yet this season and alongside him is the Hartlepool winner and rookie Paul Stella. Third place is Levi Shones who I think needs a good run coming up here. Fourth is Alex Ferranti and fifth is the Taco Jeremy Taco. So let's get the cars rolling off here. Laps here around uh, Charlotte. And then we are here for the stretch run of the season. Final five races can make or break a championship. Anyways, the green flag is out and we are racing here in uh, North Carolina. John Stewart already jumps out to a commanding lead. They're two and three wide behind him. Oh, and we got trouble. Phil Jones is over on his roof. Scary, scary looking stuff right there from uh, last season's runner-up. Coming back to the line, John Stewart looks like he will get it indeed. Uh... Big mess, Jake Smith, uh, who's that, oh, Evan Gattuso, Kyle Watkins, Carpenter, DeSarlo, the all-star race winner, Josiah Kopp I saw was there, Keselowski, huge wreck, Luke Martin was on pit road, I thought it looked like we had more, more problems, maybe not, let's find out what happened here to, well, half the few. In my excitement, I might have called Eddie Jones Phil Jones. I apologize for that, but he just, I don't know, I can't even tell what happened. Oh, and then he just gets flipped over, and then this, the track gets blocked, and there's nowhere for anyone to go. So Eddie Jones is on his lid. What else? Oh, well, Luke Martin's going to flip over as well. Well, actually, he doesn't flip all the way over. He just gets stuck on his roof. Scary stuff. We need to get another angle here because I really couldn't tell what happened. And, well, yeah. He turns Gibson and then comes down on Eric Burton is what looks like happened. And then he just goes over. And, uh... Yeah, so crazy stuff here on lap one. And then that's where he gets into Luke Martin. There you, you see Josiah Cop there. He's, uh... He's struggled the last few races, and today is, well, no exception. Let's get an onboard here with Eddie Jones, and then Luke Martin, probably. Onboard, Eddie Jones. And I think there's just a whole lot of this for a little bit. There we go. Yeah, kind of scary, because you really couldn't see what was going on, but he was getting hit and thrown about. So let's get an onboard of Luke Martin now. Onboard Luke Martin. You see Gallagher in front of him. Gallagher might actually make this thing get out alive. How about that? And then that's where Luke Martin goes over. But props to Sean Gallagher. He actually missed one for a change. So uh, good for him. Now uh, let's get back here to the restart. All right, we are back a little early because there's one thing I forgot to point out. Uh, anyway, the top ten is John Stewart, Levi Shones, Jeremy Tacos, Alex Ferranti, Paul Stella, Elijah Koufax, Robert Piet, 
Matt Earnhardt, Charles Jackson, and Kurt Gibson. Now, the thing I forgot to mention was we have a new driver in the field. You might have seen him during the replays of that last wreck, but Callum Wales has been waiting two seasons and finally will get his chance to race full-time. Granted, it's only five races, but still, he is finally a full-time guy, replacing Brian LaFlair, who thought we thought we had... He had... Uh, we thought he had a lot of promise, but he didn't watch any of the races, so what are you going to do? Anyway, the green flag is out, and we are racing here once again. You see Bu Zach Buchanan, that's his name, and Carlson really slow. Three-car breakaway here at the front. Levi Shones is all over the back end of John Stewart. Shones had a good run at Dover going, let's remember, and unfortunately was wrecked. Now, Shones and the Taco are going to go down low. Come into the line. I believe it is Levi Shones. And the caution is out here once again. Noah Hart, Kellis. Oh, Galligan couldn't miss this one. That's another piece of information, too, I keep forgetting. Is Tyler Speed is now Tyler Speed Bouchard. So, yeah, and looks like we have some more trouble down the backstretch, and we have a huge pileup. Look out. The leaders are involved in this. I thought I saw John Stewart's car. Barney Ward stuck upside down. What the heck just happened? All of the leaders, for some reason, did something. There's Jeremy Tacos has damage. I saw Ferranti slow on the track. Shones is slow. What the? What just happened? I don't know. We'll have, we'll get the replay first, and then we'll try to break it down, I guess. And John Dillon's lost his mind. Yep. All right. Let's get a replay here. A little bit of a strange moment here. Matt Edwards realizes he can't make the corner, and he goes down on the apron, but then he comes back up, and Zach Buchanan gets punted in the wall by Eric Burton. Remember, Buchanan is a lap down, and he was slow. And then you see some guys pile in into the back there. Eric Burton was there. It looks like uh, Noah Hart probably got the worst of it. Tyler Speed Bouchard was there. Kellis was there. Galligan couldn't miss that one, although it looks like he only has some back end damage. And this is where things get a little crazy. It happens midway down the back stretch. I really don't know what happens. Like, I'm watching this for the first time. Jon Stewart turns the taco twice. And then... Ooh, the taco turns back up onto the track. That wasn't some good driving, and then everyone's just going to pile in right here. Callum Wales, the new guy. CJ goes over. Barney Ward goes over. Callum Wales is trying to go over. Who's that? Kyle Watkins shoots straight up in the air. That's two weeks in a row. Kyle Watkins has gotten airborne. Trey Normile, second in points, is stuck. Pichu London, the points leader, is stuck. Man, this is going to be huge shakeup, and it's all thanks to this guy right here. Well, not not really. Well, John Stewart turned him, but Taco should have just locked it up and slid down to the inside wall instead of uh, overcorrecting and coming back up on the track. I don't think we need any onboards because it was just mayhem and it wouldn't help. So crazy stuff. Let's see. Uh, let's see how the top ten shakes out after this. All right, we're back, and we're only 10 laps in, and there are only 21 cars left in the race. We have Levi Shones, Ferranti, Koufax, Robert Piet, Matt Earnhardt with some damage, Kurt Gibson, Jamie Smith, oop, Matt Edwards, John Dillon, Galligan, Noah Hart, Jeffrey Howe, Paul Stella, John Stewart, Jake Smith, Jeremy Tacos, Callum Wales, Aaron Williams, Frankie DeSarlo, Tyler Speed Bouchard, and Chuck Edwards. And that's everyone. So, Levi Shones, if, I'm not sure, but I he might be the only one without any damage. As the green flag is back out, and we are racing, once again, this also is going to be where we can really tell who has damage and who doesn't. As the Ferrantinator, Alex Ferranti, is going to dive down low, 
and they will fly right by the 37. Ferranti, Koufax, and Piet, all three of these guys are close but no cigar type of guys. They have not won yet. As Ferranti led that one. Just making a note of it as Koufax is going to go take the lead now. Koufax has been close a couple times this season, most notably at Michigan, as we're gonna. Ooh, we almost went three wide. To the lead. Nope, we're, we are gonna go three wide. Look out. Contact. Koufax will. Not we. Oh, yeah. You, oh, 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 Ferranti almost hit the wall. They slid up right there. Koufax led that one, and now Levi Shones will come back to the point. Shones will lead that one. That'll be a sixth lap lead of the day. So it looks like only six or seven guys can keep up. We got four, yeah, six guys, because there's four right here and two up here. Crazy stuff. Lapped traffic definitely, I think, will be an issue as Shones will lead another one. Shones had an excellent season two. Yes. You won a couple of races. First driver, no. Oh, I always say that, but I don't think it's true. I was about to say he was the first driver to ever win two races in a season. But for some reason... Oh, yeah, that's not true, because Carter Kowalski won three in season one. That's why I couldn't say that. Uh, yeah, and then after after that, he's kind of struggled. He's uh, He struggled for a little while, and uh, he's starting to find his form right about now. Had a good run at Dover. Like I said, he got taken out. I... He might have had a decent finish. I don't remember exactly, exactly how well he did. Um, while we have a moment with some break in the action, I am pleased to announce that Season 5 will continue to use custom cars. However, we are moving. We're going to still use the original cut mod, so this body style, but we are going to be using Gen 6 templates so you will indeed see the Chevy SS, the Ford Fusion with the new nose, and uh, well, the new Toyota is kind of the same, but yeah. And there will also still be all your favorites like Pont Pontiac and Hyundai, stuff like that. As we are catching the taco quickly, we don't know if he will be a problem. Looks like he is. Oh yeah, he's definitely a problem. Shones had to go off the track. Oh man, he's holding these guys up. Robert Piet and, the, and Gibson are really closing in. My god, get out of the way, Taco. Oh, look out! Levi Shones was booted up out of the groove, and Elijah Koufax has been turned from the lead. Shones is in the wall. Back up onto the track comes Koufax. Paul Stella's destroyed. Jamie Smith is destroyed. Goodness me. And the taco gets to keep his lap. Wow. And Kurt Gibson is going to take the lead. Wow. That's, uh... Didn't see that coming. Let's find out, or let's get a replay of what happened. Well, Ferranti goes to make a move on, on uh, Koufax. And Koufax is trying to get under the taco, and then it just doesn't work out coming off of turn four. Shones is going to hit the wall, but then Koufax comes right up. Oh, he does. Gibson does get a piece, but right into uh, Paul Stella and Jamie Smith. John Stewart got a piece. Ooh, Smith comes back and hits that wall pretty hard, right where the safer barrier ends. And, oh, Chuck Edwards. Chuck Edwards always seems to get a piece of somebody. Not, It's not necessarily his fault. 
We see Koufax riding the wall. It's kind of hard to control his car. And he gets stuck in the wall. We saw that here with Greg Brown in Season 2. Remember when he flew away out of Turn 4. And Paul Stella might get hit again. Yeah, he's just driving. Jake Smith rams him right in the back. And John Dillon catches Jamie Smith. There's a couple, a couple of more guys that were off the pace anyway, but they're done for the day, it looks like. So, wow, right when we thought this race was going to be a snooze fest, that happens, and just like that, everyone's woken back up. You see, Kurt Gibson has some hood damage, so this will be interesting. Let's uh, get back to the restart. Alright, we're back here at Charlotte. We only have 15 cars left now. We have Kurt Gibson, Robert Piet, Levi Shones, Alex Ferranti, John Stewart, Noah Hart, Sean Galligan has survived. He is sitting in 7th place. Tyler Speed Bouchard is in 8th. Callum Wales in his first official race is 9th. Matt Edwards 10th. Matt Earnhardt 11th. DeSarlo 12th. Jeffrey Howe 13th. Aaron Williams 14th. And Mr. Troublemaker, the taco, is in 15th. Coming back here for the restart. Green flag is out. We thought Levi Shones had the fastest car, and I think him hitting that wall might have uh, might have knocked the new off. But here comes Robert Piet. Gibson and Piet are good on these uh, one and a half mile tracks, these cookie cutter tracks. They Gibson won at Texas, if I remember. Piet, I think he started on pole. He did something at Atlanta. I forget what though. He might, he might have just like, he might have led the most laps or something like that. But he will lead a lap here today at Charlotte, but here comes Ferranti. And, uh, yeah, Levi Shones as well. Ferranti will take the lead. Diving it down into Trace Equatro. Coming to the line, Ferranti will lead for the second time today. Past halfway, by the way. I, I don't think I said that, but we are. Well, I didn't say that before, but I just did. But we're good. Bronte uh, stretching out just a little bit between himself and Levi Shones, and Robert Piet is staying kind of close there in third place. Bronte will lead another. Bit of a wreck fest here. We've only had three cautions, but that second one was. Well, the second, the second caution, the second wreck, while they were slowing down, really, really cut the field in half there. So Ferranti will lead again. As we're getting close to ten laps to go, I believe we have thirteen to go. Into the stripe. Uh, this time by we have 12, 12 of them Laparoonies to go. Uh, third for Piet. Tyler Speed, Bouchard up to fourth. Gibson and Galligan will battle for fifth. Coming to the line, though, just got to make sure. Ferranti will lead. How close is the taco? Uh, he's a little less, a little more than half a lap down. We'll see if he will, uh, will spoil things again. He's at the line right now, and these guys are in the middle of three and four, so they're catching him. They're catching him. They're catching him kind of fast, too, because, yeah. Anyway, the top three, I'd say, are kind of easy. Galligan will get around Gibson for fifth. Gibson falls all the way back to eighth. They're kind of single file right now. have 10 laps to go this time by. Ferranti will get it. Levi Shones, I don't know, he's starting to creep in a little bit, I'd say. Where's the taco? Okay, they're on the same straightaway. And you can hear his, uh, his engine's definitely hurting. Here we go. Leaders versus Taco, round two, ding ding! 
And the taco will indeed. Oh man! He just he he kind of got he got by him with some ease, but they definitely tightened that battle up. Levi Shones owes it to the taco. He's cut down four or five car lengths. Ronti will lead this one. Starting to run out of some time. As a quick look. The other guys are getting around the taco kind of easy. Galligan going to go for fourth. The only top five he has this season was, I believe, he finished fifth in the Daytona 500. And, uh, but even still, if, if he wrecks, he'll only finish no worse than 15th, so. He might want to burn up one of his wrecks now, but whatever. Uh, we have seven laps to go. Bronte has led 10 laps. Levi Shones has led 11. So, Bronte, well, he, he just tied it right now, and he just has to lead one more, and he, well, no, he doesn't clinch it, but he'll put himself in position to get a bonus point for most laps led. So, yep. Let's see if there's any more lap traffic. You got Aaron Williams and Jeffrey Howe, but I think they're a little ways back. Ferranti will lead his 12th lap of the day. We have five laps to go. I don't know, you really got a feel for this Ferranti kid. He's been here since the beginning under the name Alex Petty at one point. He was here, uh... The drop of the green flag season one and he is one of those guys along with Koufax and the taco and uh, I don't know that we're starting to run out of guys that have been here since the day, but uh, Jamie oh no Jamie Smith doesn't been here since the day. And Kurt Gibson won already I don't know but he's one of those guys that's been here from the beginning and hasn't won a race yet battle for second starting to heat up between Shones and Piet. Just three more times around for Ferranti and he can finally call himself a winner in the Eves Cup Series. Hopefully we don't run any lap traffic. Oh, the taco might be, uh, might be up to his old shenanigans. Here we go. Two laps to go now. Or the Ferrantinator. Let's make sure. Where's the taco at? He's coming through. Yeah, he's coming out of four. And yeah, he's going into three. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they'll catch him. Here we go. This might be the most beautiful sight for... Well, the second most beautiful sight for Ferranti. The white flag is out. One more time around. Through one and two for the final time. Down the backstretch. It looks like we will not run into the taco. Ferranti has it smooth sailing into three and four. Out of turn number four for the final time. Alex Ferranti finally wins a race in the Avis Cup Series. Good job to Ferranti. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. And call himself a winner. Good for him. The 97 UPS Mountain Dew Ford will pull into pit road. Uh, yeah. This is what his 50 second start or something like that, or 51st, 51st main event start. Not counting the Bud shootout and all that stuff, but Ferranti finally gets it done here today at Charlotte. Let's get the rest of your official results. There you go. Ferranti, with only a race average speed of 120 miles an hour, 
So that's actually kind of low, but whatever. Uh, Sean Galligan actually will fall back to 8th place. Must have gotten uh, hung out. and then. But I'm sure he'll take 8th after the season he's had. He's last in points. Callum Wales 9th in his debut. Good for him. Uh, John Stewart will end up 10th after leading early. Taco will finish a lap down in 15th. That's actually kind of a good run for him. Carpenter, 42nd. Josiah Cop, 41st. Another not-so-good run. However, Pichu London, the points leader, finished 26th. And second in points is Normile. And I can't... Oh, here he is, 31st. So... I don't know, the points uh, Points might have a huge shakeup after this. I'm not sure I haven't done them yet, of course. So I'll get you this, and I'll shoot you right over to the point standings because I, too, am just as interested to see how they will shake up because of this race. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. The next race will be at Mo Sport, I believe. I believe it's road course time again. Yeah, the rest of the season is going to go Mo Sport, Texas World, Zen Joltis, Talladega for 12, 13, 14, and 15. So, thank you for watching, comrade, and subscribe, and we'll get you over to the points right after this.